Hey guys, it's IDW, and as this sun sets, I'm going to be showing off this barrel shifter design that I'm going to be using in my graphics card. I didn't want to cover how this works in the video where I build it, and it's a pretty useful and fast design, so I wanted to uh, make a separate video on it. So first of all, let's talk about what a barrel shifter is. A barrel shifter is a machine that takes in two numbers and shifts one of them the second number of times in whatever direction you're told to do so. Any time that a number is shifted more than once, you can use a barrel shifter to do that operation extremely fast. This is useful most notably in note multiplication and division, where bit shifting is most of the computation. It's also very useful for floating point numbers, and the reason that I decided to use this in my GPU. If you have an image that you want to send to a screen, and it needs to be moved to a new position on the screen, being able to shift the bits more than once at a time will make the job a lot faster. So let's talk about how barrel shifters work. There are two really efficient ways that you can make a barrel shifter, and the design that I'm going to be showing is a hybrid of them. The first way is the parallel method, in which you send the information for each bit into each output wire, and use control wires to make it so that you enable each shift whenever you need to. Right here, here I have a design that implements such a circuit with comparators for control wires. Uh, if you look back here, these diagonal wires send the information from each bit into every other bit. This way, each layer is a different shift. You might be able to see the issue with this, though, and that is that in this mess of comparators, there is absolutely no space to put a control wire. But even if it doesn't work, this is still actually a really efficient design, because it only has about four ticks. It takes one tick to get this to full signal strength so it can travel to through, one tick to reset the signal strength, one tick for the comparator, and then one tick to reset the signal strength again when it gets out. So let's talk about the other way of making a barrel shifter, the sequential design. To understand this one, we have to take a step back and look at how counting systems work. Because each number in the mathematical notations that we use is the sum of several numbers that are identified by the digits or bits. This means that for each bit, we can shift the number as many times as that bit tells us to, so that after the number travels through all of the bit shifters, it will be completely shifted. So if you wanted to shift a number five times, one, zero, one in binary, then the first bit shifter would shift the number once because the ones place has a one in it. The second bit shifter would shift the number zero times because of the zero in the twos place. And the third bit shifter would shift the number four times because of the one in the fours place. This is going to be useful for the design we are using because we can use the first design to do all of the shifting for more than one place value. And then we can add more bit shifters to do the remaining work. So effectively what we would be doing is we would be shifting, see what I did there, the work from the main device onto another device. So since the first circuit is no longer doing all of the work, we can get rid of some of the comparators so that we have room to place control wires. And probably the most efficient solution for the second bit shifter is an adder, since a shift to the left once is equal to adding a number to itself. So you can use that as the shift for the ones place. And that lets us get up rid of every other control wire level, which gives us exactly enough space to put a control wire in on every single level. As you can see on this design, we've used the space between every other layer to put in control wires, which gives us a completely functional design. This design also lets us rotate the data by shifting all of the bits that would be the overflow or underflow in the opposite direction. So it can rotate, shift, and it's fast, all of which makes it a pretty nice design. And by the way, if you want to see how this is built, be sure to check out my next building a graphics card tutorial because that is going to be in there. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.